David, any information the police have on the case and how they got a search warrant signed? I mean, get it and take it with you. Because take I need with to me. do a request with the uh, with the court to release your discovery to you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, did you want a copy? I want Is all that? that information. Okay. Yeah. And then I would just like to know what a pre-trial conference is. Okay. okay, as far as the search warrant goes, after our last court date, I put out a request for uh, associated search warrants with the prosecutor's office and you know, a lot of my cases that I had that day, I just haven't gotten any of them yet. Sure. I had the same thing with the gentleman before you. Okay, um, pre-trial conference is basically uh, very similar to last time except we've already entered the plea so it's really a status conference to see how we want to go uh, forward on the case um, in our uh, in your case what we would be doing is either going with the uh, the state's offer which I'll go over with you in a minute or uh, setting a trial date. Um, now, uh, as far as trial goes, um, because you're charged with promoting a detrimental drug in the second degree, that's a full misdemeanor. Um, it does come with uh, attached jury trial right. Um, now, what do they mean by promoting? Just not to not to interrupt you or. or derail what you're going what you're saying but just what do you mean by promoting what does the law mean by promote because when i'm growing i'm just growing it in my house for my own promoting use. doesn't mean selling promoting just means having it oh okay yeah thank you um now it's it's a confusing term of art yeah but uh it's like it comes home. with uh attached jury trial right uh, my recommendation is that we keep it in front of the judge um just you know, looking at the facts of the case, uh, you know, just laying it out here. Cops had a search warrant. They found, you know, over uh, well, they found just under the threshold amount of marijuana to charge a felony. Uh, What's the amount for charging a felony? Okay, it's not, it's when you do the uh, like the pound uh, gram conversion, it comes out to something around four hundred fifty grams. Right. Yeah. So what's the limit for the felony? Anything above that? Above four hundred fifty. Yeah, and that's just kind of a ballpark okay. category. Well, and I understand. Yeah. Mm, just. So the interesting okay, thing about marijuana, though, is the fact that it I loses... Just, just let me finish. Okay. Um, so, if this case was in front of a jury, they would see that, you know, you had above 400 grams, you know, just under felony amount, the jury would have zero qualms about giving you a year in jail. Um, Judge, on the other hand, you know, rec will be able to recognize that this is, you know, a first time uh, deal for you, that, you know, you had no intention of selling any of this, um, that, you know, this was not a sophisticated grow operation, this was a guy in his house, you know, working things out um, so if worse comes to worse if this case was in front of a jury go down for a year you know you go down on this uh, in front of a judge probably you know the ceiling would be somewhere around 30 days but 
very unlikely. Um, most likely probation. Um, so that's one thing we need to do today is uh, decide if you want to waive or demand jury trial. Cool, let's demand jury trial. Uh, I am highly advising against that. Yeah, I understand, trial. but the thing is, is I, I want you to prepare for that direction. And I don't want to make a decision on what we got to do right today. I, I don't have near enough information to make that kind of decision for my case. I've just made this appointment today so I can get the police information that they have that I have a right to and to find out what a pretrial conference is. I have no idea that well, exists in this system. That's something we need to do at the pretrial conference. <sighs> really demand. Now, I am adamantly against jury trial in this matter yeah. because the facts are not good. I understand. You will sure. get a year in jail. I understand exactly what you're saying. Yeah. I do, okay. but I, I, in order for the you know save time and time efficiency, I just need you to understand that I believe that I'm working in my best interest and that you're working in your best interest, and that the two aren't the same. And so I understand and appreciate and respect you and your position, and your advice. Are you saying I'm not working towards your best interest? I'm not going to say anything definitive that would be kind of like a conflict sentence because we're working together. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just trying to prevent I'm time being wasted. No, I'm not going to say that either. Okay. I'm just going to say that our... Uh, I'm, I don't, I'm not intimidated by a year in jail by the jury. That doesn't mean a thing to me. Okay. And so I'm moving forward under that mindset, and that's a mindset very few people move forward under. I just don't care about it. I'm interested at this point in the case in getting the facts of the case so that I can get as much information as possible to make the most informed decision I can okay. given the circumstances. That's all. That's fine. I mean, there are things about what I'm having to deal with now I don't want to deal with. There's no reason under the sun whatsoever that I should have to submit to any kind of drug assessment for one I'm not being charged with an illegal crime I'm not oh, I took are. their I took well, no I'm sorry I'm sorry I, mean, I use the wrong word you're right I'm not I use the wrong word not being charged with any illegal drugs in my case as of this moment and I've never had a problem with it in the past and cool. I just took their piss test and passed it no problem okay so for me to be having to go to drug assessment and have anything like that on a record it makes no sense for me to be having a drug assessment, having to call a babysitter once a week. I wouldn't have had to deal with that if I just would have put up the 250 bail, but I didn't because I didn't know it at the time. A policeman said that bail. Nobody's there to tell me and they delayed me until the law offices were closed. So we're doing the best we can with the information we have now. Just be straight up with me. Are you thinking of hiring your own attorney? I don't have the money to hire my own attorney. Okay. okay. Well, we're done for now. Do you really have anything more to talk about? I, you're my attorney, and I, I don't know what a pretrial conference is. I already explained that to you. So what's going to happen when I go to court on the 1st? We're going to continue. Yeah. I, I need to talk to my attorney. I didn't make this appointment to get kicked out after five minutes. All right. I'm just trying to, to find out what's going to happen on the 1st. What's going to happen on the 1st yeah. is I'll make a big stink about us not getting the search warrant yet. And we'll continue for receipt of that. I'll tell the judge we're not ready to make a decision on jury trial yet because we don't have that. That's pretty much it. We got a new court date. So everything, the police report, the information, the affidavit that was signed, out the, all the evidence that they got, 
everything. I mean, I'm going down to the police station and asking for this, and they're going to say, go through your attorney, we're not going to give it to you. Okay. So I need to get all of that. And I'll file a request to release it to you. Okay. So on the first, are you saying that what's going to happen is another, we're not ready, we need this information, and give me another court date? Yes. Okay. I, I think it's best if I get another public defender here, don't you think? It's not how it works. Okay. And that's all we got. That's all the answers I'm going to get.